It's March here at Canada's Wonderland. The park is still closed, but we've got a lot happening behind the scenes. Here's a quick update on construction projects that are gonna make your visit to the park this year a little different. And around the corner, we've said goodbye to one of our longtime attractions. After 26 years, Extreme Skyflyer has been retired, the tower is dismantled and removed. From time to time, we need to retire rides in order to make way for new attractions, though we don't have plans to announce for this area just yet. And lastly, there's a lot of work happening around Wonder Mountain. Some of the buildings in our Alpen area have been removed, Tiny Tom's is getting a new location, so this area is going to look a lot different when you get back. Stay tuned in early April for a special announcement about some of this construction. We think you're going to like it. And you recently announced that you said goodbye to a, one of your oldest rides in the park. What happened there? That's right. Yes, there are a few changes in the park. Um, one of the big ones is the absence of extreme sky flyer. So this was the the bungee sort of sky fly, um, sky diving ride, if you recall. Um, and that came out after 26 years. We had to say goodbye. Um, we have some long term planning that's happening here at the park, and there are some big things coming um, that you'll be hearing more about later this year. Um, but it requires some space, so we're working ahead to prepare um, some areas in the park for future development. We've got a, a multi-year plan that we're, we're working on um, and we knew rolling out of the pandemic we needed to have something ready. All righty. Welcome to the video that a lot of you have been waiting for. My official prediction on 2025. Project 2025. This is going to be a big one. Whether I end up being right or wrong, this is going to be a really large scale project. And I've heard rumblings about essentially everything um, to do with this project. I've heard a essentially a scenario for every manufacturer. Um, but yeah, I think a really popular rumbling that you've heard, especially come out of my channel, is a premiere rumbling. Um, so that is a specific rumbling that has uh, I've heard down the rumor mill in the states that you know Cedar Fair was going to work with Premier on this project, um, and it, essentially it was an American manufacturer. And yeah, I don't think so. I don't. I don't. That's that's not my prediction. I'm not going with that as my official prediction. So I'm going to rule out Premier on my end. Um, so then let's discuss Mock. Could it be Mock? Mock has this new Striker model. The striker model looks great. And I'm going to tell you something. There were a lot of similarities about this striker model and some of the things that we were seeing and hearing on the construction site. And we had to do a lot of deep diving. Um, I will say, I don't think the mock striker model or the mock um, extreme spinner is my official prediction. I'm not going to go forward with that. That, that, that doesn't fit the bill. Uh, so I'm going to rule out mock from my predictions. That brings me to Vacoma. Do I think it's going to be Vacoma? Well, this was a really likely manufacturer for several reasons. Cedar Fair started working with them. They're providing the type of coaster that Wonderland's looking for. But that's also not part of my official prediction. I'm going to rule out Vacoma from my official prediction for 2025 as well. So that brings it down to the B&M from the drawings. The B&M Winged Launch Coaster. Well, I can tell you this much. It's not that either. It's definitely not going to be the B&M Wing Coaster. There is a small chance it could be a B&M Sit-Down Launch, but I'm also not really seeing that as I haven't seen a top hat from B&M, um, specifically a top hat in a specific section that I'm aware of, and I'm not seeing signs of it being B&M either. So I'm going to rule out B&M from my predictions. Do I think it could be the Zamperla? Nope, I don't think so either. Unless Zamperla has been told to completely keep quiet uh, about this project. Zamperla said they've only had three projects for 2025, one of them being a family and the two being Kitty. So I'm going to rule it Zamperla. So what's my official prediction for 2025? Well, it's a bold one. And I am going to tell you guys that there is room for error here. So as excited as you're about to get with what's on the screen before you right now and what I'm about to tell you guys, please understand that I'm not perfect and this could be a mistake. But I am going to double down and tell you guys that my official prediction for Project 2025 at Canada's Wonderland 
is going to be an Intamin LSM coaster. I think that Canada's Wonderland is looking for something very large, out and back style, that will do a very significant element at Front Gate and in Elpin. And they lot, went and looked at Velocicoaster at um, Islands of Adventure and were completely wowed by this coaster to the point where it just makes sense. And I know there's a lot of questions. Well, is Cedar Fair really working with Intamin? Will they ever work with Intamin again? And if they were, why Canada's Wonderland? I think that's a lot of questions, and I'm going to have to unpack that in separate videos, but I'm here to tell you guys that there is a lot of evidence that is suggesting that Wonderland and Cedar Fair are working with Intamin, and I strongly suggest and think that Canada's Wonderland is going to be the first Cedar Fair park to get one of these Intamin LSMs. Now, what style of LSM coaster? Well, I can tell you this much, that whatever coaster we're getting is going to go from the Skyrider plot of land or inside the mountain out into Alpen and then back to Extreme Skyflyer's plot of land interacting with the inside of the mountain. So it's a lot of room to play with. Um, so I, it just makes sense that Intamin is one of those coaster manufacturers that can really design this type of coaster that would interact with all these areas really well. Canada's Wonderland is one of those parks that has the reputation of having three large-scale B&Ms, and they're great coasters, don't get me wrong, but it is missing that powerhouse. And when we look at other Cedar Fair parks, especially like Kings Island, Carowinds, and Cedar Point, they have those really strong launch coasters that people look forward to. Now, we know Copperhead was built at Carowinds, and it generally didn't bring in the audience that Carowinds was expecting. I think Canada's Wonderland and Cedar Fair were looking for a powerhouse of a launch coaster to bring in the crowds and wow the general public. And it just makes sense that they went with the industry's leading designer on LSM launch coasters with the leading industry of technology for these launches. So I'm really looking forward to my prediction being right. I hope it's right. I hope it's right for you guys. Um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, guys, that this is what we're getting because I'm really excited. I'm seeing such great signs towards this being the case. I know Surya agrees with me, too. Um, and I just think 2025 is going to wow everyone. So comment down below if you, what kind of coaster you were expecting um, at Canada's Wonderland 2025 and if you agree with my predictions. Again, stay tuned. I have a whole slew of videos coming on why and you know some of the counter arguments to Intamin coming to Canada's Wonderland. And we're going to dive deep into that because there's a lot to unpack. Anyways, thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.